Hello guys and good morning. Today is Thursday so I'm already in a great mood because it's near the end of the week and also um, work is pretty easy today so I'm not feeling too stressed. It is around 9 o'clock I want to say. Um, I'm gonna wash my face. As you guys know I use the Aveeno cleanser in the morning. I feel like after you've been sleeping all night, you don't really need like a super harsh cleanser because you should have cleansed your face before bed. Now, I'm gonna go in with the vitamin C. So I switched from the Paula's Choice to this Bio Bar. Not really for any particular reason. Honestly, um, Paula's Choice was great, but I saw that this Bio Bar, I think has 20% vitamin C as well as B and Ferulic and E, whereas the Paula's Choice only had 15, so I was like, let's let's up the ante, which isn't always a good um, method in skincare, but, and then I go in with the Neutrogena, fragrance-free. Always gotta keep it fragrance-free. I love them. these combos in the morning, like, I just feel like, oh, so drenched in hydration. I'm gonna get ready. So I thought I'd just start the vlog here. Yesterday I got my lashes filled, um, or I should say I got a new set because I went to a new person. And at first I was like, oh, I feel like I don't really like them. Not because they didn't look good, I just felt like they weren't like, um, like prominent enough. But now they've kind of grown over, grown on me overnight. And I'm like, oh, I love this little like wispy classic moment. <laughs> so I also stopped by Sephora because I had to get um, a new brow whiz. So I use this brow whiz to fill in my brows. My whole goal this year was like to grow out my brows. And I feel like I did a pretty good job, but they still have a ways to go. So I just kind of like to fill in the end. All right, so I just did one brow. I love like a natural, not too harsh brow. So what I do is I kind of just fill in the sparse areas, elongate it, and then I sort of just brush it out. And then just depending on the day, I might go under with some concealer to shape it. But honestly, like nine times out of 10, I don't because I just like this natural sort of bushy look. Do the other side. And then when I fill in my brows, I kind of don't just go in a straight line. I sort of like try to mimic um, strokes, hair strokes. So I feel like that's good. Then normally at this time, like for some reason, my skin is always super dry. So I have to go back in with another layer of this moisturizer. I don't use primer. I love that my makeup brushes are all out here in my new container. I'll show you guys in a second. I'm using this IT Cosmetics foundation brush. Nothing um, exciting about it. <laughs> it's just a regular foundation brush. And then this Giorgio Armani 8.5, which I've been using now for maybe a year. And I feel like it's so perfect for my skin because I sort of have like a yellowy undertone, but I still have like deeper skin. So it's kind of hard to find products that are both yellow undertone, but for deep skin. So I feel like my skin is like a true, like brown, <laughs> if that makes sense. Brown with yellow undertone. So the best way to apply this foundation, which is the Neo Nude True to Skin, because it's very light for this, I feel like a little bit goes a long way. So you just kind of keep pressing in the little that you have. And then if I feel like one area like needs more coverage, I'll just bounce it right on that area. But notice you guys, I don't put my foundation like up in the crease because once again, I feel like a more natural look is when you can, like, okay, if you have like under eye bags and you're very concerned and like self-conscious about that, but for me, like I don't really have that issue. So I would prefer not to like go all the way in the crease. If you guys use the Sephora concealer, do you also find it extremely hard to open? <sighs> like, dang, dang Sephora. 
it's not even that expensive. Okay. So this is a brand new concealer. I love the Sephora concealer. It's almost like a dupe for the NARS concealer, but it's better because they have a shade that matches me even better. So it's I use the um, Pecan Pie, which is number 12. And then I sort of, I don't go once again all the way up there. I just kind of go right here and I just do little strokes and then I'll do a little down the nose and sometimes a little right there. Mm, a little on the chin and just kind of spread out, yeah. So I had been using a brush, this Morphe brush for the concealer. Um, but I also sometimes use a beauty blender, like I wet it and then squeeze it out. And I think I'm gonna use the brush today. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it presses into the skin really well. And I'm gonna just coat my eyelid a little bit. Yep, the skin, remember I'm sort of avoiding that area right under because I feel like it needs to have a little darkness for dimension. Okay, so as you can see, it's coming along. Like I said, it's looking a little yellow, but we're gonna bring some color back into the skin. I got this Heat Spell Bronzer and Highlighter Duo, and oh my God, the colors are amazing. So I've been in love with this. I don't know if this is the brush I'm supposed to use, but this is a really old MAC. It's so old. Is it 109 brush? I always go a little higher on the cheekbone than what you think because I feel like bronzer tends to like drag down somehow throughout the day. And I just get up here for some more dimension. Oops. Sometimes if you get too much on that side, you gotta go the other side. Also, you see guys, this brush is literally leaving like little brush hairs on my face. So that tells me it's time for a new brush. Then I'm gonna go in with the highlighter side of this, which is called Erupt in this little elf thing. I usually, right after the concealer, use this Laura Mercier setting powder in Honey. And I take this little fluffy brush and just so that it doesn't get super oily under here, I usually just pat some powder in the T-zone. So yeah, we're almost done. And then I check to see if I missed anything. And some, usually what happens is I end up putting a little more bronzer on. This MAC Fix Plus with Vitamin C setting spray. <clears throat> and I feel like I don't really know what that does, but I think it helps like bring more like dew back into my face after I just like everything out and then so for my hair I'm honestly not gonna do anything crazy I'm just going to part it and do a little um, I have no plan actually so we'll just see what happens I'm just gonna leave some pieces out and I'm gonna take this like edge brush which I need a new one of because it's starting to get a little crusty and this got to be glue the only hair glue that I feel doesn't make my hair like super flaky I mean, I feel like if you use any hair glue enough, it does truly, but this one doesn't make it super flaky at the time, at least. Now, you've got yourself a little cutesy hairdo. Sometimes I put little bobby pins underneath to hold the stray hairs, but I'm not feeling it because I'm not going anywhere immediately. This is my hair look. I'll take it. I think I need to get my hair braided, honestly. Oh, I forgot to put on a lip oil. I literally got this lip oil from the beauty supply store for probably like a dollar or something. And it's like life changing. So it says um, argan oil, vitamin E. And honestly, I just 
when I do work, I really like to have everything set out in front of me. Um, I also like to sometimes put on either a podcast or put on like a YouTube video on the side just so that I have something in the background going. All right, so this is my work desk right now. I've got my laptop set up with my work stuff. I've got my daughter on the monitor. I've got a little snack. I've got the book that I'm gonna read on my lunch break. And then I've got my planner and my vision journal here as well as my headphones. just finished work for today. I had a meeting that ran a little bit over and now I'm going straight into training a client. Um, and then afterwards, I'm not sure if I'll make it to the gym today just because it's freezing temperatures in Dallas and it's not really safe to drive right now. So I might not even risk that, but I will probably make dinner after this session. <laughs> Right, guys so I just attempted to do a workout that's basically what it looks like when I try to work out and I'm here by myself with Luna um, she just joins in so you gotta do what you gotta do I've put on a little Elmo for her and now I got to clean up the mess that she made she literally dragged everything across the floor while I was working out but it's all good um, I wanted to clean up a little anyway so I'm gonna do that and I wanted to talk to you guys about this new workout set that I just got. All right, so I just actually got this from Amazon. I got a medium, um, fits perfect. They literally are dupe for Lululemon, I would say. And I also got this top, which I don't love because the pads are weird, but this I would definitely repurchase. It is so soft. It's like a nude color and it's form-fitting. So basically, I just got them in recently, but I didn't want to wait to take them to the gym. I was too eager to try them, and they are great. So I probably will be wearing them to the gym soon. Um, they're definitely squat-proof. They're super soft, and I love the colors. So I have to see what other colors they have. So I will leave a link in the bio to the um, leggings that I just got. I'm definitely going to be purchasing more pairs. And this top, I don't hate it. I just feel like the padding is a little bit weird. Um, but the leggings are it. Hi. Who's that? It's us. Say hi. It's also the viewers at home. What's your name? Uh, what's your name? Name. Luna, what's your name? My name is Luna. Yes, how old are you? 